this arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and Piquet says, the Smiths bought new living room furniture on sale. Originally, the chair was $189, the sofa was $498, and the desk was $316. What was the total amount saved at 20% off? So more often than not, when you calculate sales price, you use this formula. You take the original price, and from that, you subtract the original price times the discount amount. This part of the formula right here is referred to as your savings. That said, before we could take our price and multiply it by our discount amount, uh, what we have to do is total up our items. So this is going to be 189 uh, 498 and 316. So let's go ahead and add these up. 8 and 9 is 17. Uh, plus 6 is going to be 23. So carry a 2. Uh, 9 and 1 in, is 10. 8 and 2 is 10. So this is 10 plus 10 or 20. Bring down a 0. Carry a 2. Uh, we have 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is going to be 10. All right. So we can see that our total price, our original price is going to be $1,003. And we have a discount amount of 20%. Now you can express 20% as the fraction one fifth or as the decimal point two. In this case, it makes more sense to express it as the decimal point two. So again, to calculate our savings, the total amount saved, we have to do 1,003 times point two. So I'm going to do this off to the side so as not to make a mistake. We have 1,003 times 0.2. Again, when we multiply something by a decimal, we have to take that decimal and shift it one time to the right in this case to make this 1,003 times 2, albeit with one decimal to move back into our answer. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2, bringing our one decimal. We can see that. 1,003 times 0.2 is going to be $200.60. So the amount we're going to save uh, is going to be A, $200.60.